like him. <laughs> no kissing yet, though, Michael. I'm, I'm trying to restrain myself. <laughs> Thank you. You may be seated. <laughs> Michael and Desiree, this is your wedding day. It's a day full of so many profound moments, moments uh, surrounded by your family, moments uh, of emotion like happiness and joy and excitement and <laughs> anticipation, moments oh I know. <laughs> reflecting on your beautiful love story and how that began. What a great story. I loved hearing you talk about that. This, your first date is still happening right now. <laughs> But I just want you to think about one thing, and that is the miracle of your love. Listen to this beautiful description of love. It goes like this. Because love is willing the highest good of the other, that means love never gives up. It believes with relentless conviction. Love honors by first considering the needs of the other. Love never keeps score of the other's mistakes. It strives to always express itself in truth and in tenderness. Love looks for the best in you. It believes the best of you. Love will never fail you. How amazing that you two have found that kind of love for each other that over the time that you have been on this journey together, you have learned a lot, a lot about love, a lot about how to love and how to be loved. I think it's so miraculous how life, love, and timing work so beautifully together in our lives. When the story of your love, the story of your life together is told, I know that story will describe the highest and the most sacred in human relationships and that is your marriage <laughs> now Desiree hand your flowers to Kaylee turn and face each other Michael I need to ask you a very important question do you take Desiree to be your wife? I do. <laughs> and you have written beautiful vows to her. There you go. You can go ahead and hold one of her hands as you say those to her. It feels like we have spent lifetimes trying to find each other. I knew the moment that I laid eyes on you that you were the one that I had to find. I saw the face of an angel that nobody else seemed to see. You are absolutely beautiful without any hint of pride. You are the smartest person that I have ever met without any of the ego. You are so full of love and hope despite everything that you have been through. You knew that I would find you and that I would need you and cherish you just as much as you needed me. I know, I know that you would shower me with love no matter what with no expectations in return. Before God, I vow that I will be yours forever. I will do anything in my power to heal your heart. You are the light in my world. You have opened me to the possibility of true love and given me faith in God. You have so much love to give and you have all of mine in return. I will give you all of me, my love, my faith, my everything until the end of time. You are the one that I will share everything with for the rest of my life. And I vow that my mind, my heart, body, and soul belong with you forever. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> so beautiful, Michael. Oh. Yeah, I'm supposed to follow that. Guys. I know. <laughs> well, we'll give you a minute. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now hold his hand. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you that same question. Do you take Michael to be your husband? I absolutely do. <laughs> then here are your vows to him. Hold Thank his hand. I always knew that you were out in the world somewhere, but I never imagined that a small city in West Virginia was hiding the one person I need like the air I breathe. I'm so thankful that God led you here to Arizona so we could find each other. I never knew that it was possible to feel a love as strong as the love I feel for you because it never existed without you. 
I never realized just how much was missing from the puzzle that is my life until you found me and all those pieces fell into place. I never knew the level of happiness that you brought me to because without you to take my hand and lead me there, I kept getting lost along the way. You are my soulmate, my one true love, and my best friend all rolled into one. The one person I trust with my heart and the only person who's ever touched my soul or been able to see the real me. I vow to try to be patient even though we both know I'll fail most times. I promise to never stop needing you close to me. I know that I will love you for all eternity, and I'm comforted in the knowledge that not even death could end my love's bond with you. From this day on and forever, I'm yours. Listen and all of us. this again? You good? Okay. Oh, such beautiful vows, you two. Thank you. <laughs> Well, you have some rings to exchange. They are actually tokens of the vows that you just said. Yes. Haley, our beautiful ring bearer, may I have those, please? Yes. Go ahead and stay right there, and I'll give you the mm. box, okay? <laughs> oh, wow. <gasps> the unending circle of these beautiful rings. Oh my gosh, Michael, I love yours too represents your unending love and faithfulness to one another. With these rings, you are pledging to each other your futures. You give them as a sign that you've chosen one another, that you will celebrate each other and place each other above everyone and everything on this planet. Absolutely. <laughs> Michael and Desiree, <clears throat> thank you so much. What an honor you have given us to be here today, to watch and listen to how beautifully you pledge to love and cherish one another. And as a minister, I only have one more thing to do. It is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Now seal your vows with that kiss. Michael and Desiree.